All right, first up, uh, good news. Uh, well, not for long, though. We have Grand Central's back in stock, but I think um, people are buying up really fast because we didn't have them in stock because know, for like global a park year. shortage. So anyways, um, get them while you can, and uh, you can actually even get 10% off right we now. We have the ones with headers. I think the ones without headers, we're still waiting to yeah. get them. There's not a popular, but um, I know people are waiting for these. Uh, we ordered the Sam D51 P20s a year ago, and they finally came in, yeah. so we're starting to... To manufacture, you'll see a couple things that have been out of stock for like a year um, come in because everything had 52 week lead time, and we're like, okay, we'll order now. And that was a year ago, yeah. uh, and it's been 52 weeks. Here we go. Um, we've got this Grove pigtail cable. So, this is um, a cable that you can use to plug into um, devices with Grove connectors. I even have one I can show off. Hold on. One second. Uh, can you go to the overhead real fast and I'll show it just yeah. because it's, a, it's an interesting connector. Just show it off. Um, so this is your handy dandy, uh, this is like a Grove Feather particle adapter. Uh, so you may have seen these connectors, these are Grove connectors from Seed. Uh, and they're used for digital analog and I squared C. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, I want to make my own custom cables or extend them or adapt or whatever. Uh, so this is the... Um, cable that plugs in and it's even got the little latchy bit. So this is kind of the nice thing. I know you can sometimes shove JST PHs in there, um, but this pigtail uh, you know, just has bare wires on the end. So it's great if you want to make your own custom cable. We also have an adapter cable from Grove to Stemma QT or Quick if you happen to need that particular cable. But if you're, uh, you just want to make your own, um, this will also do the job. Okay. Next up. Uh, next up, another pigtail cable. This is a Molex you know, there's a part number to this, but it's just called like a Molex IDE or floppy drive cable. Um, so we are using this stuff because we're starting to do floppy things and we need sometimes 12 and 5 volt power. A lot of people have power supplies or you can get a floppy power supply or a, a disk drive power supply. Uh, and this will just break it out for you. You get two grounds. Uh, the red wire is 5 volts and the yellow wire is 12 volts. Also really handy for making your own wire harnesses uh, to connect to those high power power supplies. Okay. And then uh, it's finally here. Keep, 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 Let's keep. Try Yeah. So we have all these characters for, you know, a lot of our stuff, and people assume we're doing NFTs. We're not. It's just a fun character for this board. The KB2040. Yeah. Um, yeah, what's funny is we came up with that character before NFTs. Yeah. Right? The now, yeah. But now that's the style. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, you made a character. I know, I know. It's I know. not. It's just a you happy can, character. You can right-click and save it. You always could, always will Please be. do. Yeah. Uh, he's a very friendly keyboard. Yeah. Um, so this is the KB2040 board, which we've had for a while, but now it's in pink. Um, I talked to our board house. We gave them a Pantone shade. And we're going to try to get all of our RP2040 boards to come in a beautiful pink color with black highlighting. Um, which is kind of Adafruit shade. And uh, it's extra good for this one because if it's going to be like a keyboard, it's piggy. Uh, pink is a piggy color. So yeah. uh, this is a great board for um, if you have keyboards that you are using like a Pro Micro with, but you want something more powerful. You can run CircuitPython on this. You can run MicroPython on it. Hey, I just subscribed. There's a QMK pull request to add RP2040 support to QMK, cool. which is going to be massive because QMK is what like, it has like 13,000 pull requests. Everyone uses QMK for their keyboards. Uh, so having the RP2040, you know, this is a chip that's available right now during the shortage. It's a powerful chip. It's yeah. a fast chip. Um, it's going to really make these keyboards fly. And uh, in addition to all the Pro Micro pins you know and love, uh, it's got USB-C, it's got Stemma QT, so you get extra two pins. So you can do a 10 by 10 keyboard array if you'd like. Uh, it comes with header, it's got castellated pads. You can short the USB if you want more power, if you want to skip the fuse. And they bring out the two USB data pins. Um, could be handy if you're doing like a really funky wiring setup and you really want uh, to you have the USB port totally separate from the board. Yeah. And you um, you get to keep this graphic for free. And, and <laughs> you can right click on that graphic and download it. Yeah. And give it to friends and um, it's fine. Funge it all you want. Yeah. Okay. Funge away. All right. And then the start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady, at our community, our staff, our customers, all the folks that help keep this thing going is. The Vemel, Vemel 7700. 
Uh, this is a standby QTification, but with a twist. Uh, so this sensor actually comes in two part numbers. Uh, one is like the vertical type and one is the horizontal type. And this is the right angle, I guess the horizontal version. So if you see the sensor, see that little pink purplish square in the middle there? The sensor points out, most of our light sensors point up off of the board and this one sort of points parallel to the board. This could be very helpful if you're doing like some sensing through a slit or if you have to mount it in a certain way or you're like you know trying to measure something passing by. Um, not sure what but I thought it would be kind of handy and uh, while we were at it we stem QTified the whole thing so you can plug and play it with all of our uh, I squared C boards like the KB2040 which has a stem QT port. On also the end. cool thing Katni edition. It's a Katni edition. Katni worked on this board, uh, and uh, she also has been doing so much work with the stomach utification. She gets to have her signature on the back of this. So another uh, in thing gold. that I think is kind of cool is, you know, electronics can have the people that make it. People made electronics. That's right. Katni and made this. Katni made now this. Now you know. All right. Uh, so check this out. This is a great low cost uh, Lux sensor, and we're probably going to add it to our giveaway, our freebie giveaway, because it's uh, such a handy yep. one. And that's new product. Thank you.